Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mona. As always, I'm back here again with our series, Let's Glam, The Boss Babe. And today we're talking, speaking, everything skincare and aesthetics. So I'm here with the aesthetics boss babe, Eva. I'm going to let her introduce herself. Hi, my name is Eva. I'm a pharmacist and clinical esthetician. Um, and also just a skin enthusiast. So I love that. Happy to be here. Look at her, all at 26. <laughs> we try. I love we try. it. Congratulations. So and thank so you for happy. doing this with me. And I'm so excited. And you guys Yay. just need to like stay tuned and see what we're going to talk about. Because you want to listen to what Eva has to say. <laughs> guys i'm with your resident pharmacist slash esthetician Hello. boss babe did i just say that correctly yeah, esthetician i've been here practicing with eva you did well yes did so well. <laughs> Alrighty, so eva is the skincare boss babe like she knows a lot more about skincare than i do so i'm going to let her be on to talk about that as i prime her skin obviously i'm using our favorite bobby brown vitamin enriched face base it's so hydrating it feels amazing on the skin and i love an extra glow i feel like glowy skin is the best base for makeup but yeah tell us what do you have on your skin what's your skincare routine Ooh. like because i remember you took me through that and i feel like a lot of people like you need yeah. to know about it there's quite a lot on my skin yeah so face wash i usually do salicylic acid the therapy one that helps with like any breakouts and just to dry your skin because i have oily skin and my toner is glycolic acid which also helps with um, any breakouts and just removing the excess oil from my skin. Then I also use the glycolic acid toner. That's Pixie brand specifically. Now a lot of people hate Pixie, yes. but like I said, it works for me and that's why skincare is so personal. I've tried so many other brands and I've just broken out, broken out, broken out. And then for moisturizing, I actually use the Snail Mucin um, Course X um, moisturizer. So like two or three pumps and SPF like you can skip all the steps, but what you need to add to your skincare routine is SPF because especially in Uganda with this like, all have to be into sunscreen, and like sunscreen and as then, a must. Yep. Have you always been using all those products or mm. is that something like why do you use them? I started really early with skincare. I was actually like maybe thirteen or fourteen. What? And I started with the harshest stuff which was Clinique. Why? I, I don't even know what was wrong with like, me. And where were you getting Clinique from at fourteen? I don't know what's wrong with me. My mom was like, Are you okay yeah you definitely but, was your mom's influence yeah, yeah and i just was so terrified of like you know puberty getting those breakouts yeah so i was like let me get in front of it yeah and just start with all the strong that acid. is crazy guys <laughs> yeah that's, as you can see insane. like yeah so, I, I started doing makeup when i was five so you yeah. started playing with skincare i don't know why even before you ever even got skincare before, issues exactly. <gasps> and when i got to uni that's when i was like okay what do i want so i tried kills to just avoid little breakouts and then I guess it was like my early adulthood when I started working, I was like, okay, Kiehl's is also not working. Yep. So obviously that's when CeraVe started coming in about four or five years ago. And there you were starting with yeah, skincare. Exactly. Well, I mean, Clinique skincare. With Clinique, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> then my mom thought I was crazy for real. Yeah. Okay, so guys, right now I'm blending the foundation, concealer, contour all at once. I literally just applied all the products and I've used e.l.f. cosmetics for the foundation and the concealer. If you don't know, Eva transitioned from pharmacy to aesthetics. And that has been like my favorite thing about you actually. <laughs> really? I feel like, first of all, we don't have a lot of estheticians yeah, in town. And then, you know, you deciding, oh, let me try this and mm -hmm. let me, branch out of this to get yeah. into that i feel yeah. like this is why you needed to be here today because you're a she walker honey <laughs> what do you enjoy most about your work 
So I feel like there are many levels to that. Pharmacist, esthetician. Um, I also work at Revive Wellness. So we do intravenous vitamin therapy. We know a lot of people are skeptical of intravenous and people only think it's for people who are very, very, very sick. But we're trying to change that narrative and change it to, you know, you don't have to be incredibly ill to get a drip. Um, it's more so promoting your wellness, especially because yeah. people are just like, why are you getting a drip? It's like, are you okay? very new. Yeah, it's yeah. very, very, very new. So it's, yeah. it's a challenge in its own right. Because to me, it's like, um, that's a no-brainer. Like, of course I'll get a drip. But yeah. to them, you really, they need to understand the safety behind it. Like, yeah. why would I do this? The purpose, you know, side effects, long-term yeah. um, illness that it can cause and so on. So it's very, it's really thinking outside the box and it's box rather and you're being a salesperson and I do pharmacy like my first degree was in pharmacy so yeah we were taught nothing about sales or selling yeah. a product yeah. like it was you just an know essential that this service is, yeah, yeah exactly so this, this is what works. you need to do yeah and people were like dying they needed you where yeah. this is more so a luxury service shall I say extreme yeah so it really brought me out of my shell um so I'm glad I branched out um, but also from the aesthetics point of view, I just love seeing the way people, like after you give someone a facial and mm -hmm. they're just like so happy with their skin yeah. and so pleased with how, wow, like I can already see the brightness, I can already see the changes. Yeah. Like you're helping people, granted it's not in a medicine way, but you're helping them embrace themselves and also just learning that they can take better care of their skin and it just boosts their self-confidence and also learning how to take care of the skin so you're yeah. giving them that advice and have you always been privileged like with skin skin no actually when i stopped using yeah. clinique mm -hmm. i think my skin was like what the hell like, yeah. what did you just but do but you were so young i know so your skin was great and then you decided that like, i need to try like, my mom's hectic yes. expensive skin okay. oh my god so i was about 17. so all the teenagers watching yeah take your time, take your time. <laughs> don't start too early yeah so i had a really bad breakout when i was about 18 mm -hmm. and it was just like pimples everywhere rashes everywhere like mm -hmm. i tried everything and like it was severely affecting me because i was like what did is that this? feel it was so bad like yeah. it was, i was actually very sad because oh i've never God. struggled with skin, skin. but mm -hmm. it also made me determined to figure out what it was and then secondly it was after uni so when i was working in a hospital it was covid so i had to wear face mask every day Okay. So that also broke my skin out terribly. I think that was the most recent one oh that God. I remember. You're not the only person. Yeah. I got a lot of clients during oh, the COVID time oh who literally got the worst breakout, worst break especially out. around the area. So what this do you think caused cheap. that? It was a mask. Mm -hmm. So it was just like the friction of having the mask on the whole time. Yeah. Um, that's what caused the break and it was so bad Mona. But oh my god. My was cheek. it? Yeah. So I had to like get special masks, um, hypoallergenic masks. No like, way. Yeah, I had to buy those. How did you even discover that? It's like you've had to like Dude, have your own special oh, I was just issues. praying to God. I was like, God, yeah. help me figure this out. I need and that help? slowly, yeah, it's slowly, but then I had to increase on the acid. Yeah. I started the face mask, the bentonite clay mask. That really, really helped with the hyperpigmentation. Yeah. So when people often get breakouts, they really don't mind. Yeah. They'll be like, oh, this is life, I'm going through it. But me, mm -hmm. I was adamant I must figure out what is causing what this. Is Oh, yeah. Have to reverse it. Like, yeah. Um, as I'm reflecting, I just see that my passion for skin and skincare has always, has been, always there. been there. Yeah. yeah. So, what do you do when you have like skin issues? Like, 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 what's your quickest remedy? Let's say you um, get a random breakout and you don't even know where it's coming from. It's bentonite clay, the face mask. Bentonite. Um, it's like a big white tub or it has like a mountain on it but basically bentonite clay yeah, yeah so it's yes. like exfoliating okay and it just like literally you put it on for about 10 15 minutes okay and it just literally sucks your pores out of all the excessive oil and stuff so even when i have a pimple i'll put it on there for like 10 minutes yeah and then by the way because in the morning it's good yeah um, you, so should. you can get some it's not it's never pre-mixed okay so you usually just have to like get it put some water in make sure the consistency is good yeah and then me and my sister actually figured out when you put a few drops of apple cider vinegar mm -hmm. it also clears your skin as well I that's like crazy a few drops of apple cider vinegar, vinegar where on your skin no on in the bentonite clay oh okay yeah how do you stay motivated <laughs> Yeah. I say money. <laughs> no, I'm joking. So I would say I do want to be successful. Mm -hmm. um, I've had a lot of changes in my life, so I did say I was 
in the UK doing the hospital thing, mm -hmm. but I obviously decided to relocate home, and that was pretty much starting afresh because you know, uni, school, uni, like you get a job, like that's all pretty much prepared for you. Like your next step is always determined. Yeah. But this one was like it was up to me to figure out. It's a new country, you know, where business is more the way to success as yeah. opposed to like a proper corporate nine to five job. Yeah. But also just to have that freedom in your day to like restructure my day, still yeah. get the job done. Yeah. But the way I want to do it. Yeah. And my kids as well. Yeah. Um, I have been given a lot and I would want to give them just as much or even more. Yeah. Um, so I'd say that's what motivates me as well. And also just seeing the that. clients. You know, when you help someone, like people might think skin is so minor, but it can really affect someone's self-esteem. Yes. Um, so being able to change that for a person or even beauty, um, beauty treatments. So yeah, being able to just make a difference in someone's life. I love that so much. That is my love yeah. that. I feel like I'm motivated already. Yeah. <laughs> so how like how easy was it for you to make the decision to transition from corporate to business? It was it was very hard, um, I would say, because also I'm a type of person that I have had to learn not to do this, but seek validation from people mm -hmm. um, and just be like, oh, you know, you want that, you know, that's a good idea. Like, yeah, I'm gonna do it. yeah. But obviously, you're gonna get different. Things. Yeah, you're gonna get like, are you sure? Feedback, like, yeah. how do you know it's gonna work out? Whatever, whatever. So it was honestly prayer. I really had to get that backing from God yeah. and you know like just be like even like meeting you and so on like if I was still cooped up in my 9 to 5 office yeah. wouldn't probably be here. wouldn't happen yeah right. probably wouldn't be here so I love that. it's just taking that step step yes. through faith mm -hmm. so is glowy skin or matte Oh, I have really oily skin. I have to go mad because Ooh. by the end of the day, I'm mm -hmm. going to be glowing anyway. And it's time for our oh. Johnny Walker break. <laughs> Ta -da! I hate whiskey. Oh my goodness. But Mona, are you going to make me change my mind today? Yes. <laughs> Can we just test the whiskey yeah, sauce? Ooh, it. cheers. Wow. Mm. Do we hate whiskey? <laughs> <laughs> we don't hate whiskey. Okay. Johnny Walker quiz. Let's go. So it's black, blue, blue, green, yellow, red, and <laughs> double black. Double black. Yes. <laughs> Whiskey. Johnny Walker. <laughs> Tom Brown. Tom Brown. Okay. Johnny Walker. Yeah. <laughs> Walking or some keep walking. Yay! Yay. <laughs> blue. Wear blue, babes. Yeah. Blue. Jenoka, feel free to send us some blue Can blue you? label Can you? for your girls. The she walkers, mm -hmm. you know, walking this journey of beauty, aesthetics, Both makeup. <laughs> oh my god, how old are you? I'm 26. Oh. I know. <laughs> 26, already a pharmacist. Like, you need to tell us the whole story. I went to uni when I was 18, turning 19. I was a year late. It's supposed to be 18. <laughs> so, uni pharmacy in the UK is two years. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I did the four years, but it's also a joint master. So, I actually have my master's already. She has her masters. <laughs> but you know, I still feel like it's not enough. Like I still no feel like way. I'm not but where I'm supposed to I get to that. Be. In your twenties you, know? you have that pressure. You're like, yeah, I, like need I need to get do everything every time. But you need to let things happen yeah. in their time. True. Yeah. Um so yeah, then I did that thing God passed so was officially a pharmacist. Then I decided to like work a little bit, but you know everyone tells you first figure out what you're gonna do before you go home. I was like, I just want to go home. Like, I'll figure it out <laughs> yeah. when I get there. I was just yeah. so tired. And then I started working at a pharmaceutical company. I did that for eight or nine months. Mm -hmm. Like, proper corporate, yeah. That's when I was like, this cannot be the rest of my life. But also the transition here of, like, getting my pharmacy license was mm -hmm. not super easy. Yeah. Um, yeah, I had this very difficult. It's very, very hard. So that's when I was like, you know what? Do I even want to really do this? Um, mm -hmm. What is my passion? Because I didn't want to now do something just for, for the sake, sake. Yep. yeah um so that's when i had to think okay what i want to do i was like okay i really like skin um but like how do i make that credible then i was like 
just day and night searching aesthetic schools, aestheticians, what does that mean, what courses you need to do. Mm -hmm. um, and luckily for me, because I'm from a science background, yes. so it literally streamlined the course to about seven weeks. And so that's why I just started practicing. So yeah, I'm letting Eva tell you everything that she knows. And if you want to hear more from her, go and find at her clinic. People really like an accentuated Cupid's bow. Okay. So learning how to inject like right here, and then like obviously not making it too to be. excessive. Oh my god, fillers. That was my favorite yeah. thing. You you need to tell us about fillers, fillers and, and Botox. Botox. So the one thing is you shouldn't be able to tell. Okay. I feel like when you can tell, then they've done it wrong. Um, it's just like makeup. Yes, it should you be like it's just tell to where enhance. The line, exactly, yeah. just to enhance. So Botox is... Like I'm enhancing your beautiful yes, eyes. exactly. Yeah. But also... Botox is very mm -hmm. regulated, like in terms of the amount of units yeah. you're supposed to inject in each area. Okay. Um, and you should not exceed that also. And Ooh. we have to make sure it's in a specific area of your forehead. Like here? Um, yeah, so you do the middle bit and then mm -hmm. you do the forehead like this. Okay. But you should not pass like the line of where your pupil is. Like so here? I would say, yeah, so here. So you shouldn't go past that point. So what happens? You are at risk of like developing the droop, basically. Ooh. So there's like a nerve you can basically... And also both of people who think it's cosmetic you know, surgery, it's not plastic surgery. Okay. So it's reversible. Oh, there's a difference. Yeah, the max is eight weeks, right? Oh, okay. Um, that you have the so Botox every to renew. Weeks. So every eight weeks. You, have, you have to, to renew this. You have to renew it. So if you've done it once and Ooh. you don't like it, you don't have to do it again. Yeah, and I love this. Like, yeah. I just feel like she has like the lead space. I'm like, let me just lot. like put some sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. So excited. <laughs> Whereas fillers, you're just like feeling, you know? Yeah. So when you're doing someone's lips, it's, it's not like okay move from this point to this point in the syringe like yeah. you have to just how the person looks and you're like okay i need a little bit more here you need a little bit more so you're essentially an artist because yeah. you're trying to make their face as symmetrical as possible yeah then um don't Both scare things. anyone but you know yeah you no but we informed. need to know the yeah, truth because exactly. i mean i feel like first of all this is something very new yeah you know, society, yeah. Yeah. but it's happening. Yeah. I mean, it's happening, and you rather yeah. do it the safest way. Yeah, you'd rather know, like, yeah. So the ones with fillers, so you can put that almost pretty much everywhere in your face. Yeah. So your lips, your nose. That's a non-surgical rhinoplasty. Yeah. Um, just to like help if you're if you feel like your nose is uneven, you can put in your chin mm -hmm. to elongate it if you want a bit Ooh. of a longer face. Who'd want a longer chin? Listen, <laughs> <laughs> people want what they want, and then also their like their jaw as well to give more of like a diamond structure. shape. Structure, yeah, I get that. Structure, also, yeah. like a little bit here, I feel yes. like I would like just like get an injection here to yeah. just like have that place like a bit more. But yeah, listen, you can put it everywhere. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> all of this is the beauty industry preying yeah, on our insecurities. I know, but that's the thing. It's a very fine line never ending securities never ending but that's <laughs> the thing of and that's what happens like people almost take it too far every time so yeah. that's my only concern I, I want to do it in a way where we're only enhancing yeah we're not changing um but then at the same time if the client wants to change you know you can't the client is always right you mean I to guess. each their own yeah exactly <laughs> because obviously if you inject the filler into a vein or an artery that's bad news like you can yeah we're not going to get into any more of that. Okay. Um, so but yeah. I like that we've touched on, yeah, we've touched on it. And how do you even like talk mm. clients through this? Even to makeup, you know? I it still is, have to I talk know. some women through, you know? It's not too much. Yes. It's enough. So this blah, blah, one, blah. with both of them fillers, you have to be convincing, but of course you cannot force anyone to do it because number yeah. one, it's quite invasive. Mm -hmm. And they need to be, like you said, have an open mind. Yeah. Or like even, you need to come in for maybe like, you know, a medical approach like, okay, migraines, or if you have jaw um, or teeth grinding, this would yeah. help, or if you sweat excessively. How about like women who are like going through menopause? Menopause, yes. So that can, can they help use Botox? With, they can use Botox, yes. Ooh. It's more pregnancy that Botox is not for, um, for yeah. Okay. So I've done her eyes, they're so pretty. Yeah, but I need something like heavily moisturizing for my hands. Ooh, like what do you recommend? Normal shea butter, yeah. like the natural organic, yeah, and then mix it with one of the ones you would like. To like it's not really nice. Basically. Mm. Yeah, I need to get one. Time for the lip. What lip should we go with? And then a next question in your hands. I really like like a brown liner. Yeah, me and too. Gloss. That's my go-to. That's what I have on, and that's what we're doing for yeah. you.
So guys, I quickly did Eva's lips off camera. Well, it wasn't really off camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I used the NYX Cosmetics Fat Oil. I love it so much. And the Revolution Cashmere. <laughs> what skincare product or ingredients do you find most effective and why? Ooh. Personally, again, this is a very personal. I would say the bentonite clay face mask with the ACV. You don't need to use it with it without, I mean, you don't have to use it with ACV, but I feel like that's when I saw the greatest results, especially with my dark spots. So yeah, like I do that every other day, and um, that's really, really um, improves my skin texture, um, as well as achieving a balanced skin tone. I love that. So yeah. Okay, final question is from me. Tell me. How do you introduce yourself? So, so hard. To close, yes. <laughs> How would you like to like, uh, so, introduce yourself? My name is Eva. <laughs> I'm a pharmacist, current okay. esthetician. I'm a clinic skin enthusiast. Yeah. But also medicine or like drugs enthusiast. That's like the- You forgot like, to say she walker. She walker, obviously. <laughs> she walker, honey. <laughs> she walker. <laughs> I like of nice things. Nice thing. Um, I also, this is one I usually do, I like a diamond. <laughs> yeah. Until you get to know me, so that's I what know. I would say. And a child of God, obviously. Can't yeah. forget that. As our tradition, uh -huh. we always give something away. Mm -hmm. So I obviously in line with the new business coming up. Okay. New age in yeah. I actually want to give away two treatments. Ooh, so I do want to do a they're giving away two, two treatments. So I do want to do a skin yeah. treatment uh -huh. and beauty treatment. I love that. Um, okay, so if you've watched this video, liked everything, <laughs> you've gotten to know Eva, yeah. and you want to get a beauty treatment or skin treatment, a skin treatment, or, yes, yeah. or a beauty treatment, mm -hmm. comment below, tell us why. Uh, feel free to go follow. Eva on all her and handles. <laughs> we'll be tagging everything in the description box below, but also feel free to go check out her platforms. You can DM her directly or us. We'll be sharing all that information. So amazing. Yeah, let thank us know. You. But thank you so thank much. You, it's been so much fun. Amazing. Cheers to more collabs in this whole entire beauty space. I'm so excited for you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for giving me this opportunity. <laughs> thank you. Love it. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>